You know that, that our children, not only that, but like they support the Israeli army, that the people should go to the Israeli army, these mm-hmm. chief rabbis and so forth. Our children that are living there, the hundreds of thousands of Jews that, that are, and they're anti-Zionist, they refuse to go yes. and there's a mandatory military yes. service. So yes. what do they do? They, um, they, they refuse to go and they, get, uh, they become criminals. Imagine every boy and girl who turns 17 becomes a criminal. From our community, because they refuse to serve. He said, "Girls, not only boys, and the Im- the immorality that's going a girl into an army with with people who are not religious. You can imagine what's happening there. So they don't refuse to go. And but that's not, we refuse to go because we don't want to so, stand and support or, or, um, and be part of the state of Israel. You know, there's a rebellion against God. So they go and they get arrested. They it's, this is part of their psychological sure, warfare. I they put know. on them the, the Israeli. Uh, they force on them to wear instead of prison garb." The Israeli army garb, you see a girl here, she's crying, she's saying psalms, she's praying to God because they're arrested. Every single boy and girl, like, they can't travel. It's such problems. You have no idea how the Jews are being oppressed there. I mean, like, you know, there's so many pictures, thousands of these pictures of the brutality that it's used against the Jews. And um, here they're spraying them with uh, stink water that yeah. destroys their clothing and it discourages people to go out and demonstrate because they're poor. It ruins their clothing and they, 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 their bodies smell from for stink water. Time. Stink water. It's, it's a chemical wow. that they use because that, that way they know they'll, they'll, they, they don't have more clothing. So they, and, but it doesn't help. We still go out and demonstrate. <laughs> there would be tens of thousands more who would be out in the streets, not only there, but in the United States when we demonstrate. We get threats. Uh, we, this two weeks, three weeks ago, no, it's already maybe four weeks, when one of the demonstrations I went out and I came back, the tires were slashed from the car and the mirror broke and the... the they slashed your tires, yes. broke your mirror. And this is nothing. 